want to talk about heat pumps now. And uh, if you have installed one, um, you know, you're looking for... I'm not exactly sure what a heat pump is, what it does and how it, where it gets its power and whatever. I know you dig the up ground. your back garden for it. We're about to find out about it. But some home homeowners who have uh, installed them uh, have had them removed because they feel they just don't work. Well, the government's boiler upgrade scheme gives grants of up to £6,000 if homeowners remove their gas boiler and install one of these heat pumps. But critics are saying they don't do a very good job of keeping houses warm. Let's speak to plumbing franchisee and director at MetServe Limited, Elliot Ray. What's your experience of these heat pumps then? Are they efficient? Uh, good morning, everyone. They are efficient, but they're only efficient in the right situation. Uh, if you're to install a heat pump in your home, Primarily, you would need to make sure your home is as well insulated and as carbon friendly as possible. A heat pump itself isn't the answer here. There's lots of other factors that you need to consider before installing one. What is a heat pump? Just explain to me, if I said, do you come round to my house, uh, rip out my boiler and uh, put in a heat pump, what would that involve? Uh, well, essentially, as you mentioned just now, Eamon, uh, a heat pump is outside, it's a unit outside, and it is a refrigerator in reverse. So it can take the heat and transport it into your home, and you can utilise that heat to heat your hot water and your heating system. Um, they are very efficient, and they are very carbon friendly, especially if it's being supplied through electricity through a carbon friendly method, such as wind or solar. Um, so ultimately, it is a refrigerator in reverse outside your home, feeding your home with heat for hot water and heating purposes. Right, I'm just trying to get my head around this. So it's a cold day like today. Um, where is it getting its heat from? It's getting its heat from the air. Uh, you have uh, air source heat pumps, you have ground source heat pumps. So obviously the air source heat pumps can take it from the air. And even when it's cold, there's still heat there. The technology behind it is beyond my realms, but it works. And then for a ground source heat pump, it can take the heat out of the ground and, and then supply it into your home. And that will heat my water, that will heat my radiators, yeah? It will heat your hot water, it will heat your radiators, not to the same level as a gas boiler. And therein and the lies the problem, pumps, obviously. Yeah, but the key element with heat pumps is that you need to have a secondary source as well, which again is a more carbon friendly secondary source. Traditionally, or more typically, you would have an unvented system uh, installed in your home to top up the hot water or top up the heating when needed. An unvented system. Like, like uh, a, a, an immersion heater or something like that. Absolutely, yes. So with that in place, if you have just a heat pump, it's not there to be independent, it's not there to be solo, it's there to be the, the main method of heating, and then you have a secondary source to support it when it needs it. So an unvented system, as you mentioned, would help top up your hot water to another level. Um, but I can't stress enough that when you're considering a heat pump, you also need to consider that your home, your radiators, your insulation is also of sound nature to assist it to perform as you would like it to. So, Elliot, listening to you, you, you you're thinking, right, you're, you're still a fan of these. Uh, we're trying to get to the bottom uh, as to why people would want them ripped out or replaced. Uh, and you think they, they just haven't thought about them being more than one addition to heat in your home. They're the primary source of heat, but they shouldn't be the only source of heat. Yes, primary source of heat, but not the only source of heat. Primary, a, a great way to make your home more carbon friendly, not the only way to make your home more carbon friendly. There's lots of other alternatives towards a strategy of trying to go to net zero that will make your home friendlier and warmer and your hot water um, hot enough for you. Well, how, how much would they cost? Yeah. Uh, well, heat pumps, uh, typically anything between eight and £15,000, depending on the system you go for and the, um, and, and the size of the home. Um, with that, your bills are a lot less. Unfortunately, with the cost of living and the increase in electricity prices, that differential yeah. has been yeah. alleviated somewhat. Uh, obviously, we hope that those come back down again soon. Um, but when I speak to people about heat pumps, and it's still a growing market, the technology is still developing. This is still quite young uh, in its stages, and the, and the manufacturers are always developing to make it better. Uh, but when I do speak to customers and clients about heat pumps, um, a key element to discuss is this isn't just about the money side. Yes, things are tough at the moment. Some people consider heat pumps primarily for the carbon friendly element rather than the money element. The money element can be a significant boost to your monthly finances. Obviously, the cost is there. The government grants are there. They can help, but it is an expensive install. Well, you have mm. one. No, I don't have one. My home is not insulated well enough for me to consider it at this stage. And is that where people are going wrong then? I mean, is that the common failure perhaps people are going right i'm going to get one of these 
but actually they haven't bothered to insulate their home properly and therefore they're finding that all the heat is just escaping and it's not getting to the temperature that they want it. It would be slightly unfair to say that's where they're going wrong. I think it's a case of understanding the flaws of the system. Even gas boilers have their flaws. Um, you know, whether it be the exhaust, the risk of carbon monoxide, the cost, the fact that we're utilising fossil fuels, those are genuine weaknesses to a gas boiler. Uh, with a heat pump, I just stress that everyone really understands more. And to be fair, as installers and, uh, and as plumbing and heating firms, we should be able to provide that information so you understand where those flaws are and what other elements we can do in our home to mitigate those flaws. Elliot, fascinating talking to you. Thanks very much for, for highlighting all of that. We've got to leave it there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, interesting. It's like all these things. It's like electric cars. I was just thinking that. Were you just yeah, thinking you need like that? a hybrid if you're going to get one of these heat pumps. Well, then the, oh, the hybrid. I've looked at hybrids. And no, this, I mean like in your house, if you get a heat pump, you yeah. also have to get your immersion or whatever. No, but it's like, like all, I'm pump. saying all this technology is in early there. days yeah. it's not quite there it's like you know apparently if you get a hybrid you know you get something like seven and a half miles or something mm. on the hybrid but mm. it's it's all it's like and i've heard that things like uh, solar panels you can't recycle them uh, uh, the batteries in electric cars mm. apparently impossible it's going to cost you a fortune to um, emails going mad replace those about what Heat what pumps? a load of rubbish they don't work you need double the size of radiators they cost a fortune i just fell off my seat laughing finally the truth they don't work um <laughs> I mean, it's going crazy. I'm just watching the emails coming in. Oh, they don't like heat pumps. Suffice it to say, you're not mm. fans of heat pumps. <laughs> so there's a lot more work to do on that. Another example of green initiatives not thought through. Yeah, Gosh, yeah. Don't install them. We've put in biomass IITs. Oh, sorry. It's broken down. They just can't. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. You get the point. But that, you see, but that's the point. You get politicians making these decisions, tying uh, into these agreements, and then we're, we pick up the bill on technology that's not quite yeah, there yet. Try. It's too early. To, Why? Learn. What, pay 15,000 quid for no, something that doesn't work? i society, we've got to learn and try new things. And innovate. Well, you try it, but I'll save my 15,000 quid. <laughs> no, fair you enough. do that, and I would like to burn logs in a fire. Yeah, same. I would like to, like to do I wouldn't like to clear it out or of clean it not. out, but it's always my dream to have a house where you can burn logs. Oh. I don't have that. I might soon. You can come around, sit by my I fire. Saw, I would do that and leave you to clean it out. Perfect. Listen.